Hello there. Welcome to Anybody Can Code C++ series. So if you're new to this series, you can click on the card that's above to check out our previous videos. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the ABC series of C++ from Facebook. So in the last video, we had seen uh, something related to data types, right? So uh, in detail, I had told you all the things uh, which is required for you to code basically uh, in C++. So I had told you I'll be explaining something related to inputs and outputs, how to take the uh, inputs from the user and how to uh, give it as an output when it comes to C++, right? So for today's video, we'll be looking at uh, C out, C in, and uh, printf, scanf, what exactly they are, and uh, certain format specifiers, okay? So for starters, uh, we have something called as uh, C out and C in. So I'll explain you what C out and uh, uh, C in uh, uh, are and how it is used. So by now you should be already knowing how exactly C out is used, uh, but you might not be aware of, uh, uh, you know, C in, right? So let me just write on all the things which are required. So I use string and next up is uh, using namespace as td. So I'll just write down that and it me and uh, braces open and close. So inside this, I'll just write down uh, one statement, uh, let's say C out and uh, face prep. Okay, and a semicolon at the end. So this should work fine, right? So let me just run and check if it works fine. And uh, yeah, it works fine, right? So instead of uh, just uh, typing and uh, you know printing certain statements, I want to uh, take an input from the user. Okay, when you run a program, I want to, uh, uh, you know, during the runtime, I want to take an input. So what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll take this particular function called as C in. So if you remember the first video uh, where I had uh, introduced all the basic things, I told you the syntax of uh, C out and C in are almost same, uh, but the angular brackets are slightly different. In fact, they're totally opposite, right? So here uh, the angular brackets are wider towards the right side of yours. And here the angular brackets, uh, when it comes to C in, they are wider towards the left side of yours. Right. So here, let's say I want to uh, uh, scan a particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, variable. Okay. Let's say I want to scan a variable called as X. Okay. But I have not declared any variable, right? So let me just declare the variable. This is called declaration. So I want X to store uh, integer type of data and I want to take the input from the user. I want to take the value of X from the user and I want to print uh, that particular X value. That's it. Okay. This will be my code over here. So let me just run this particular code and check uh, what exactly uh, happens over here. So run, it's compiling the program. Okay, so you can see the cursor is just blinking over here, which means that uh, the compiler is asking me to print certain values. So I have print, uh, I mean, I have typed 45 and I'm clicking enter. So as soon as I click enter, you can see it is just printing 45 over there. Uh, it, it's not printing anything else. Now let's try to make it a bit fancy. Uh, so uh, let's say uh, before uh, scanning the number, I want to print a dialog. Okay, so I want to print a dialog saying that uh, enter the number. Okay, I want to print this particular dialog, and after this particular dialog, the user will uh, uh, you know enter the number. And after uh, the dialog is done, uh, I want this particular dialog to be saying that uh, the number entered is. Okay, so the number entered is. Okay, and. Uh, the quotes closed over there. And after the number entered is along with the space, I want to print the number which the user has entered. Okay, so I've just, uh, you know, modified the style over here. So let me just run this particular program. So uh, here the number which I'll be entering is, uh, enter the number it is saying, so I'll enter 2020. Okay, and uh, you can see the, uh, you know, compiler says the number entered is uh, 2020. Right. So this is a basic functionality of uh, scene and see out. Right? So you can do a lot of things when it comes to scene and see out. Let's say uh, you want to uh, uh, take it to the next line. Okay. So if you want to take it to the next line, we have uh, a specific uh, keyword for it called as endl. Okay. So uh, after enter the number dialog, you want the cursor to go to the next line. Okay. So you have something called as endl. Now let's just uh, run this particular code and check what exactly it does. Uh, so yeah, it says enter the number and you can see the cursor has come to the second line. That is because of end L. Okay. Now I'll type uh, 2020. I'll press enter. And again, in the next line, it will say the number entered is 2020, right? So these are the small intricate things. What you can change when it comes to, uh, you know, input and output statements. 
and uh, that's it guys so you can just try uh, experimenting on these things and uh, you'll be a pro in input and output now let's go for the next part so the next part is related to printf and scanf right so uh, uh, even though it is not totally a part of c++ uh, c++ is a derivative or a advanced version of c correct so whatever functions or whatever uh, you know predefined methods or whatever it is that we have used in c same thing can be used in c++ as well Okay, provided uh, you use uh, their uh, you know specific header files or uh, namespaces which are required uh, for the predefined functions to work. So let me just uh, tell you how exactly these work. So to use uh, uh, you know printf and uh, uh, scanf, you would be requiring a special header file called as uh, stdio.h. Okay, so let me just uh, write that down over here. So stdio uh, dot header. Okay, standard input output dot uh, header. It is called as and uh, let's say instead of uh, writing c out i want to use uh, printf over here so i'll use printf and uh, the syntax of printf printf is uh, i'll be using parenthesis open and uh, closing parenthesis and uh, quotes will be open and closed and there'll be a semicolon okay so this will be the syntax of printf and uh, over here uh, for scanning i'll be using uh, scanf Okay, so scanf also will have the same syntax. So the syntax of scanf will be open and close a parenthesis. And here I'll be entering something called as percentage D. Okay, so in the next part, I'll tell you what exactly it is. Then a ampersand, uh, let's say X. Okay, ampersand X. Okay, so and then uh, instead of C out, I'll be using printf over here. Open the parenthesis, open the quotes, write whatever you want to write. Okay, and then uh, close the parenthesis. And then what do you want to print after this particular dialogue? I want to print X, right? So I'll just write comma and a X and a semicolon close. Okay, so let's just uh, try to run this particular uh, uh, snippet over here. So it says enter the number. Okay, and after this, uh, I'll enter 2020. And after writing 2020, uh, the number entered is uh, it is not printing anything. Okay, so why it is not printing anything is because uh, we have not told what type of data you want to print over here. So percentage D and uh, run again. So let's just uh, try that again one more time, please. So now it says enter the number. So I'll be just typing, uh, let's say 25 and the number entered is uh, 25. Right. So this is a basic syntax of printf and scanf. Now, uh, why I'm asking you to, uh, you know, uh, Consider this even while uh, you know typing C++ code is because there'll be a lot of places where uh, you would have to modify certain things. Okay, for example, uh, let's say uh, I'll just uh, comment all these lines. Okay, so I, I hope by now you might be knowing what comment lines are. Correct. So let me just drag this down over here. I'll uh, give comments over here. Okay, and I'll try to uh, write down the C out uh, statement. So let's say I want to uh, uh, print X equal to 5.678. Okay, 5.678. So since this is decimal, I have to convert it to uh, float. So I've converted it to floating data type and I want to print X over here. Okay, so I'll just try to print X over here. So I like, try to print X over here. It prints 5.678. Now, let's say I want to print only 5.67. Okay, I don't want the last digit 8. I want up till uh, two decimal precisions of that particular decimal. So uh, you cannot, uh, I mean, you can do it using C out, but it'll take a lot of steps. Okay, so instead what I'll do is, okay, instead what I'll do is, I'll not consider C out. I'll just write uh, a printf uh, command over here. Okay, and uh, using certain things, Okay, percentage point to F. Okay, and uh, comma X. Okay, I'll tell you what exactly these are. Do not get scared, guys. This is not rocket science. Okay, so percentage point to F and X. So you can see it is just print uh, a 5.68. Uh, it has uh, not considered the last digit. In fact, it has taken uh, the last digit and it has uh, carry forwarded the precision, right? So if it is more than five, it takes one value to the left hand side, right? So eight is more than five, so it has taken uh, seven to be eight. Uh, so let me just take this as uh, three. Okay, now let's just check what happens. So we are supposed to get 5.67 now, right? Okay, we have got 5.67. Okay, so uh, this is what I'm telling. So this is the uh, format what we follow to print 
using certain precisions. Okay, so wh what are these uh, percentage 0.2 F and uh, percentage F percentage D, which I had told in the last example? Okay, that is the next part, guys. That is nothing but format specifier. So as I told, uh, if you have to use certain, uh, you know, printf commands or you have to use certain formats when it comes to uh, printing certain uh, outputs over there. So we'll have to use a specifier for that particular uh, uh, data types. Okay, so uh, specifically for character, you have percentage C and, uh, you know, integer we have uh, D. Okay, do not worry about the sign. Okay, it is just a modifier. Okay, if you have to uh, print an integer, we have D. If you have to print, uh, you know, floating value, it is percentage F and uh, double it is percentage LF. And then you have octal representation, which means, uh, you know, octal uh, form of a number. It is percentage O, string it is percentage S and uh, hexadecimal it is percentage X. Okay. So, uh, so I think now you are able to relate, right? So X is a floating type of, uh, uh, you know, data type. So uh, here uh, the format specifier for float is percentage F. So if I want to print, uh, uh, you know, X, okay, just like that, okay, using printf command, I'll be using percentage F in the double quotes and I'll be using a comma and I'll tell what exactly it should print. Okay, so why I'm writing X is because this percentage F can be any floating value, right? But I'm telling the printf statement, I want uh, X to be printed and that too uh, in the form of uh, float. Okay, so let's say I give one more uh, variable over here, Y is equal to uh, 6.51. Uh, okay, so uh, it can be, if I just give percentage F, okay, if I just give percentage F over here, it can be Y or X. Right, so it can be y or x. So I am telling the compiler that uh, uh, you know it is not y, but it is x alone what I want to print. So I'll just write comma x. So it'll just print x over here. So let's just check what it will print. So it is printing uh, 5.673 uh, and uh, certain zeros. Okay, so this is a precision value of uh, a float case. Uh, now let's say I want to uh, uh, you know uh, print y. Okay, so what do I do? I give Y over here, I run the code and instead of taking X, it will uh, take Y and it will print Y over here. Now let's say I want to print uh, 5.67, okay, just like last time. So what I'll do is I'll tell the compiler that I want point two precision, okay, I want point two precision after decimal places, I want two digits of uh, X, okay, of X. So let me just run this. So now what it will print? It should print 5.67 and it is printing 5.67. Or let's say I'll uh, take a uh, one decimal digit after, uh, uh, you know, 6.51. Okay, in 6.51, I'll just take one decimal uh, uh, digit over there in Y, right? So I'll just try to run this particular code. So what happens over here? Okay, I'm supposed to get 6.5, I've got 6.5. So I, ha I hope you've understood why exactly format specifiers are important, guys. So if you're trying to print, uh, uh, you know, uh, an integer value, okay, let's say uh, x is an integer value, let's say it is uh, uh, 101, okay, I want to print x now, so now I cannot use percentage f, I'll have to use percentage d, okay, so for uh, integer, the format specifier is percentage d, right, so I'll be using percentage d, so I want to print x, correct, so I'll print x over here, so what happens now, I'm supposed to get 101 and I've got 101. Right. So these are the importance of format specifier, guys. Now let's say, uh, in, if I've given int and I'll try to print a character. Okay, I'll try to print capital uh, uh, A over here, and uh, I'll keep it as percentage D itself. Okay. Now what exactly is happening? Let's just check what exactly is happening. It is printing 65. Whoa. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Right. So what has happened over here, guys? Uh, it has just done some calculations and it has printed 65 it is not totally incorrect okay now this is something called as a type casting or type conversion okay so which will be taught in the next videos okay so for uh, this video that's it guys uh, you have uh, learned all the basic things what is required for uh, uh, you know your uh, uh, input and output so see in and see out uh, you just have to experiment based on that print up and scan up i've told you the syntax i've told you what format specifiers are so in the next video, we'll see how exactly this is working, the current uh, code which is there on the screen that is working uh, related to typecasting, right? So till then, happy learning. Hope you like the video.
Do not forget to subscribe and do click on the bell icon so that you get notified when further videos are released. And also check out our Instagram page and WhatsApp broadcast services. The links are in the description below.